Hello and welcome to this quick update video rather which works with the first part of the tutorial series for mapping for Elite Force RPGX. This is going back to using and setting up GTK Radiant and I'm going to be showing you a newer alternative. However, that one requires slightly more configuration than GTK Radiant does. Okay, so if you just installed GTK Radiant and we've got here a shortcut for it, you want to make sure under properties and compatibility, you've got it running in XP mode, you've got all of these disabled and you're running as an administrator. If you're not doing all those, you are going to encounter problems with the video settings and that 3D view will not work and you have glitches with your grids as well. So if you do all those, it should load up no problem. As seen here, and we can draw a box and it's there. If you are running on a computer that isn't that powerful and you want to make it run a bit better, you do have options in here. You can turn on the clipping view, which will stop far objects being shown in the 3D view. And you can also click and adjust the render type it is. So you can have basic ones, you can have the full textured ones, which also give basic shadow in your 3D view. Okay. Zero Radiant is a more modern version of GTK, but it's still in beta. That is why it was not covered originally. And because it does not natively support Elite Force or IPGX. To get it running, you need to download the zip from their website. Links are, of course, in the description. And I've just extracted it to my desktop here. Now, the program you care about is Radiant.exe, so you can create a shortcut on your desktop or something. However, to get to run with Elite Force, we need to, inside the Games folder, have a configuration file for it. Now, you can see here it's configured for use on a Windows 7 64-bit system. I've got the file path pointing to my 32-bit apps and then the Elite Force folder. You will, of course, need to change these things around to your path and make sure, most importantly, base game is set to base EF. So when you go and launch it, says GTK Radiant, but it is the newer one. Looks exactly the same almost. And you can go and load up a map once it's all set up. And you will get your shaders and textures show up here. If it's not configured, all of these will show up with error, error, error. But I will tell you, it's definitely not configured right. If you need to change your paths in project settings, Make sure you have the full path here, including base EF, and set it to Quake Free Arena. And that should get you going. I wish you luck.